morning, good afternoon or good evening. It's great to see you. Thank you so much for joining us in today's session. For those of you who I've not had the pleasure of meeting yet, nice to meet you. My name's Mike uh, and I'm one of the co-founders here at Waybook. Um, and if you are a uh, if you are a regular here on the Waybook product updates, welcome back. It's great to see you back today. And I can see uh, from the lovely names and faces that we've got here, there are many of you who are coming back for more every month, which is great to see. So thank you so much for joining us once again. Um, in today's session, we are going to be exploring the fundamental things that are new in your Waybook account in August. Um, and a little hint into some of the core things which will be coming up in your account over the next few weeks as well. So we're very excited to be working on some quite big things in the background here at Waybook HQ, um, which means that you'll start to see some of the new things that are coming into your, into your hands. And we are tr always trying to make sure that Waybook continues to be valuable um, uh, on, an, on an every day, every week, uh, month basis. So instead of just going to ground and developing for a few months, we're teasing little bits out and getting into your account. But without further ado, let's have a little bit of a sneak peek in terms of what we're going to be covering in today's session. We will cover um, the new um, amendment to our editor dashboard, uh, a little bit in terms of our content insights. It is, it is a big relief for many of you Android fans that we are actually now live on the Android Play Store. So uh, we're looking forward to sharing a bit more on that. And we've also had quite a few from uh, mobile updates across the board as well. Um, and then last month, we were actually excited to launch our terms glossary. And we've also done quite a lot of work on that in the background, which I am excited to share with you on today's call as well. So Let's jump straight in. Uh, and whilst we do that, let me just kind of remind everybody here of how these sessions go. Um, we like to keep this as interactive as possible. So please feel free to message in the chat. Um, tell us who you are, where you're from, uh, and it's nice for you to say hello. Um, and we also have the fantastic Sophia here in the background, um, and Sophia will be manning the chat and also on the Q&A. So if you've got any thoughts, you've got any questions, just drop it in any of the boxes you see open, uh, and we'll keep our eyes and ears open in order to make sure that we can address them. So let's jump into the first session uh, section of today, and that is, of course, our editor's dashboard. So the reason why we've started to consider this is because actually we know that there's almost two different modes that many of us take when we are working with our Waybook. That is the editor and that is also the reader. So whether we're an admin with publish access or you know edit access, whatever that may be, it's essentially just the perspective of us looking to understand more about and optimize the content that we have compared to us in that same mode when we're consuming our content. So we wanted to make sure that you have more power and ability to manage and improve the management of your waybook, of your content, and also making sure that we're understanding how effective waybook is within our business to make sure that we can continue to keep our whole team on the same page. So that's the main reason why we wanted to look at this, really to enable us as our, our editor headset to focus on those important activities. So what it is, and this is one of those uh, one of those exciting ones where we are starting to tease new bits of information in there is really it's an additional editor bar on your dashboard when you're in edit mode. And that is really going to be looking at some of your core metrics and your core pieces of information um, that help you manage your your content and information moving forward. Now, this is available in all of your accounts um, and it's in uh, it's in your dashboard view when you're in edit. So let's just take a very quick look at what that is. And I'd love to give you a bit of an idea of the shape of how this is progressing as well. Whilst we do this, hello to everybody saying hello. So uh, great, great to see you again in Edinburgh. We've got Emily from Iowa. Hello, Emily. We've got uh, Stephanie from Georgia. Um, great to see us spread across the world as we usually are. So let me uh, just share the screen here. So you'll see here the main dashboard hasn't changed. In this main dashboard, this is everything that we have come to know and love from a reader perspective. But as soon as we go over into the editor mode, you'll see here that this additional bar will, will be created. 
So the few things that we're able to see here is quickly at a snapshot, what are the states of our documents? So what's published, what's draft, and what documents are currently in review? Now, the reason why this is particularly useful is because there's more and more activity that we're going to be able uh, enabling you to do within the document manager view. And essentially, this snapshot is essentially just a bit of a view um, within the manage settings. So the second part of this um, is almost for a, a snapshot of our overall performance of our waybook. So the two core metrics that we'll be able to look at here is the engagement um, of our existing team members within our waybook. So you can see here that 17% of this team's waybook um, have engaged with waybook in the last 31 days. That is mainly because this is a demo account and most people in there are, are mere fragments of my imagination rather than real team. But this will actually give you an insight into how many people are using your waybook um, and engaging with it regularly. And then secondly, we've also got an overall completion percentage. Um, now this is looking at how, what is the average completion of our members on the documents that they require to be completed. And then we're also able to look at the uh, number of steps that we have um, or the step views across our waybook. So this really is a signal for how many questions we've answered, how many conversations we've uh, solved before they've begun and how many pieces of information we've shared via waybook. Now, this final section here is very much um, focused on the action that is required from us as an editor. So this might not all be orange. In fact, if it's not orange, then you've done a good job as an editor, as a manager, you've, you've done what you need to. Um, and you'll just see some kind of tips and hints about Waybook. But this action required essentially shows that I am the verifier of a document and that document needs verifying. So if I click view, it will take me into that document and we'll see here that I can actually mark that as verified because I'm happy with that. So when I go back to the dashboard, um, that will actually take me on to the next thing to do or, of course, clear that once all those activities are done. So whilst we're looking at these, these really are the things that we've identified as the fundamental things that are important for you as Waybook managers and editors to be able to take within your, your daily operations in order for you to be able to optimize the content that you have. Firstly, from a document overview perspective, if we go into the manage view here, you'll see that this manage view is continuing to develop to make sure that you have a real holistic view of all of the documents that you own, that other people own across your whole waybook. So this view can now be fully customized by the types of content, the owners, whether it's pending reviews, what permissions are on there, what permissions you have, what versions are at when they're created. And you can either use our quick view access to say, okay, let's look at all of the draft documents. Uh, so these are the ones that are kind of still in development, still um, needing, needing attention. We can also look at all the ones that require review um, or actually documents that I'm an owner of. Or of course, we can continue to add additional filters to get a real filtered view out. So as Waybook continues to develop from a management perspective, this will become the view that we might take you to from multiple locations when you almost have higher level jobs to be done on about the content rather than the specific content itself. So that is essentially what this is signaling and taking you to. The team performance is very much to give you the high level metrics to make sure that you're essentially getting the value you need across your uh, from your waybook across your team. So yes, we can dive deeper into all of these information from your reports. We can actually see a very specific piece of information in terms of who's done what, where people are, who's completed what piece of information. But ultimately, if your engagement is lower, then that's really where we want to start communicating with the team to remind them that actually they should have the browser extension so they can ask questions. You can integrate with the Slack and the Teams app. Um, you can download the mobile apps and essentially make sure that all of the questions that people have, the reviews that they have, they can go to Waybook first. Um, and that will ultimately increase your engagement percentage and also make sure that the conversation around the, the core work, around how to do the work, is centralized in Waybook rather than burning your time in those conversations. Now, this completion percentage is actually really important. And you might have noticed that in the recent months, uh, many of you would have been on that update. In the recent months, we've moved and improved the ability for you to set whether or not someone requires 
the completion of a document to that individual user or that individual group. Now, what that means is that it really is a small thing that totally unlocks the quality of Wavebook for your users. And just as a reminder there, if I go into my groups and I look at that customer service group, we can see that actually these six people do have access to these 13 subjects, but actually we only require them to do the completion of these six subjects rather than all of them. So a great example might be your marketing team can see some of the documents from your sales team, but actually aren't constantly being bombarded with new updates and incomplete documents and making sure that every update is in their brain. Whereas actually they can be more focused on the content that they need in order to do their work effectively and they need to know in order to make sure that they're driving positive change. Now, what this means is if you have a low percentage, you might actually want to look back on your on your member groups to make sure that your team are have required completion more focused on the documents that you actually require them in order to complete and to stay up to date with. And then almost just refreshing people to say, look, we really want to get and keep this to 100 percent, because as soon as we keep that completion percentage high, then it really, really empowers us and our team to make sure that communication is efficient and moving forward. So that is just a little introduction into this small editor bar, but hopefully giving some more insights in terms of how and why that's so important in order to make sure that we're optimizing the management of our waybook. If you've got other thoughts or questions, pop them in the chat, pop them in the Q&A, and we will take them as we go. But aside from that, let's now jump into the second part, um, which is actually not totally dissimilar. This is our content insights. Now, the Content Insights is essentially an entirely new report, which you will already find within your reports. The reason why we wanted to, uh, to add this in is because we want to make sure that you have more information that enables you to actually manage the content that you have and optimize your content, even in the busy whirlwind of the day to day. So what you're able to do here um, is actually look at a slightly more holistic view of the content, of the usage, and the popularity of your of your content, rather than diving deep into the people, into the teams, into the into the uh, pathways and things like that. So what this is is an entirely new report. This report actually focuses exclusively on your individual documents and shows you the core metrics of that document. It is available in all accounts, and that is available in reports. So let me actually just dive back into this. And in that, let me just go into reports and go straight to this content insights. So what we're seeing here is all of the, do the documents. Um, if you are an admin, you will see all of the documents. If you are a manager, um, you will see all of the documents that you have access to see them in reports, of course. Now, what we'll be able to see is we can see where the document is, what subject it's in, the total views of that document from your team members. We can look at when it was last viewed. Um, and crucially, we can start to actually build up a picture of the feedback on the document. So actually, if we look at things with high negative or, or high positive, then we can start to prioritize whether or not we come back and, and we, we refresh this. We can look at how widespread that knowledge is across the business. So if you've got a piece of knowledge that actually you 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 want everybody to know, but you notice that only you know 21 out of your 40 people have access, then you can make sure you've got the right permissions on. And you can actually then look at the average completion level of people across that. Now, there are lots of things that you might want to do uh, when you're looking at this. But ultimately, one of the core things that, that I like to use this for is identifying both the, the, the highest viewed and also the lowest viewed documents to make sure that we're ensuring that there are um, the, the right piece of knowledge, the right piece of information within that. So people have that level of access and control that they need to. Um, and also, if you've got a lot of eyeballs on specific documents, then we can really guarantee that those documents are up to date and sharing that right information. It's often a signal that that is something else that you may want to uh, bring into conversation with the rest of your team uh, to make sure that 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 kind of knowledge is part of the, the process and the management.
So that is a snapshot into the Content Insights and very much so a, an extension of what we're talking about with the editor, the editor dashboard, the kind of uh, additional insights, really just trying to give you more information and more insight to make sure that once your content is created in Waybook, you have all of the tools at your fingertips to make sure that it can stay iteratively improving and valuable for your team. So let's move on. I am slightly aware I accidentally clicked go forward and I've already told you that this is coming. So it has ruined the suspense somewhat, but let me just let me just build up the suspense. For all of you Android users out there, I know the heartbreak you received when we launched our iOS app just over a year ago. I know how left out you felt. I know how much you thought that we neglected you. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to confirm that we are no longer judging you by what device you have in your life. Yes, Emily, you are Android for life. I am, I am on the other side of that coin. But every mobile device user deserves access to their Wayback. And I'm very pleased to announce that our Android app has officially launched. Um, it, is, uh, it is exactly the same as the iOS app. So there's no favoritism here between the iOS uh, Android app. But um, of course, this really is entirely focused. It's something super important to us to make sure that there is just zero friction between your team and your team's knowledge. Um, it's one of those things that we're like, it definitely it definitely shouldn't have taken five years <laughs> to get the Android app out. Um, but ultimately, we're really excited to make sure that you all have that native uh, Waybook Android app. Um, now, what it is, um, is it is the reader-focused app. The reason why um, this actually hasn't been top priority for a long time is just because of how good the mobile experience is um, of of Waybook. So we know that actually that that mobile experience on on the mobile web is is actually excellent. Like you you can do everything you need, and 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 really that's why the the kind of passion Android users have had for this in a request has been we would love an Android app, but actually we don't need it because because we're using the, the web app. Um, but it's in there. No more excuses. Uh, and yeah, I like to I, I like to hear you Android lovers in the chat there knowing that this is good. So you still have um, the full mobile web experience that is still available. The key differential here between the mobile app and the mobile um, browser experience is that the mobile app is focused on readers. So it is focused on making it fast, making it snappy, making sure people have access to what they need. Um, all of the edit, the notes, uh, all of the, the 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 kind of updating, the reviews, things like that, that still is um, on, on the mobile experience, on the web experience rather than in the app. Uh, and that probably will be a case uh, for, for, the, for the near future, unless you message me being like, Mike, what are you doing? We want it all in the app. Um, and then that becomes uh, a different conversation. So you can access that. It's available in the Android Play Store. Um, it is available for any devices running Android 11 uh, and beyond. Um, so that's 2000, uh, 2020 and on, on beyond. And actually, this is decided based on the analytics of people using uh, Waybook on their Android. That basically is everybody who accesses Waybook. Um, so yeah, we're very excited for that. As as every good uh, person should say is uh, not necessarily like, follow, subscribe, but download, use, and five-star review is always much appreciated. Uh, so please do let us know. It looks very lonely in the, uh, in the Play Store at the moment. So we'd love to get both your thoughts and feedback and hopefully your, your reviews in the Play Store as well. So thank you so much for the support as you always do. Um, so in addition to the Android app, uh, we have actually done uh, a lot of mobile optimizations as well. And the main reason why we've done this is just to make sure that you Apple folk out there aren't forgotten either. So obviously the mobile app experience has been really good uh, for, for the last year or so, but there's been quite a lot of optimizations on that, um, partly on speed improvements, partly on increasing access uh, to, to content. Um, and again, that is available both in the iOS and, and the Android app uh, available for all of your accounts there. So that takes me to the final thing that we're going to be covering in today's session. Now, this sounds like it's a bit of a repeat, but it's not a repeat because actually the terms glossary has had a huge uh, totally overhaul, actually, since we first launched it. 
Um, if I'm totally honest with you, because we are all friends here, Terms Glossary was something that we uh, were excited to do. It was on a roadmap for a while. And then we had, uh, we, we just really wanted to do it because we knew it was super valuable. Uh, it's really, it's, 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 it's not really found anywhere else. We know that it's a great way of levering up um, all of your content, essentially to make sure that you, you have ease of use for your readers um, and also to make sure you've got contact to your readers. Now, the reason why this has been released essentially twice is because we launched this as a feature and the demand on it was honestly so insane. Almost everybody who came across it started importing their, uh, their, their, um, their glossary terms. You wanted more glossary terms. You wanted easier ways to add glossary terms within your waybook. Um, so actually we've massively increased the numbers um, of glossary terms and without boring you on the technical side of it the way it was first developed meant that actually it was we were limited with the numbers that we could put in because it would it would essentially put more load on the on the loading of way but whereas now that's massively extended um, and we've also increased uh, access on on those terms as well so that what that essentially means um, is that before it was a it was a pro only account um, so only people on Pro would get glossary, whereas now both accounts um, have it. Unfortunately, because of the the load on the system, Pro does have a a huge amount more access to to glossary terms. But it does mean people on the core account can still get that value within your account. Um, and the one final thing, uh, because I know many of you, uh, I know many of you really really wanted to put a lot of uh, a lot of terms in. So this is available in settings, in glossary. You can add um, additional terms within there, but what you can also do is you can bulk add your terms from a CSV now. Um, and actually Pro Teams, you can add up to 250 terms. So that is essentially any, any terms you wanna put in there, either in bulk or individually, um, you save them. And then across all of your content in reader mode, um, all of your content here, you'll be able to see uh, if I hover over, that's exactly how your terms will come up. Um, so that is one of the, the, the fundamental things we're really excited about. It is so lovely putting things out. Uh, and, and sometimes we put, um, uh, features out, which we know people have requested. And then sometimes we need to keep on reminding people that it's there. This has not been the case. You've literally grabbed it. If you've not check it out, because I know other, other people have enjoyed it. Um, okay. So, um, I, um, bringing us to the end of today's session, I'm just going to look at Rachel's chat here. So excited to see that we're expanding reporting for users. Are there future plans to continue these expansions based off feedback from your customers? Rachel, absolutely. Uh, for the regulars knowing here, we literally manage our roadmap on all of the conversations that we have here. So if you ever have thoughts, you ever have questions, please do speak to the team. Please do booking calls. Please do send messages. Uh, we love to hear your thoughts and we really do optimize our roadmap and are continuing to all always add new things and expand based on what you are asking for. So that is our fundamental uh, in, uh, kind of launches for August. Now, there are a few things that are coming to you very, very soon. Um, and uh, the core things are um, archive documents. So this has been something that I personally have been so excited about for, for a long time. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am merely the CEO of Waybook. I do not have the wielding power and control over our roadmap as much as I would like to. But I have always wanted to have archived documents. And the reason why I've wanted to have them is because in our own Waybook, we kind of create processes and procedures. And sometimes things don't quite work out in the way. And, and we I, I, I almost don't want to delete that knowledge because I'm thinking maybe we'll come back to that. Um, but we're just going to pause on that process. It's not quite a draft document because it's not in edit. It is a procedure. Uh, and it's not a delete because I want it in there. I want to just archive those documents. So actually, you archive those documents. That is coming very soon. Um, and I, I thank you all for whoever else has requested the archive documents because I've been really keen, but I've actually not pushed this through. Um, mainly because actually that fundamental change was 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 only coming from me, whereas actually because other people have wanted that, it is now coming to your account. So that will be out next month. We also have the ability to bulk edit in man in document manager. So that manage view that I showed you earlier. Um, let me we've got a bit of time. Let me just actually click back on that. So this bulk uh, manage view. 
this being your dashboard of saying, okay, cool, here's all of the content. Let me actually just look at all of the documents that I own, or actually let's say the documents that, that Sophia owns. Um, what you will soon be able to do is bulk action on these documents. So that might be you select these three documents and you switch all of Sophia's own documents to L or to Dan, or actually we switch everything into draft or do whatever that may be. That is going to be, a, a well, that is a big change, which is currently in development. And we're really excited about everything that that will enable, both from your kind of holistic management of your waybook and also by speeding up the creation of your content. Um, and then the final thing that is uh, that is very much in the works and we're so excited about is an optimized a um, review and approval workflow. So we have uh, almost two new systems coming. One system is very much making sure that the review cycle for, for core accounts is excellent. It's a much lighter weight process and you can really make sure that you're tracking the reviews and making sure that you've got sign off on different versions. And then we actually have a very robust system coming on the pro accounts. Um, the reason why these have been separated is because genuinely there are people that are on, on the pro usage of Waybook where they have to have things written by somebody, signed off by document head, going into the legal, making sure HR have approved it. And every time you make an amendment, it has to go through that. So you will soon be able to create that rigid approval process um, on, on the pro accounts and make sure that you're sending people through. We're really excited about it. It's been an amazing one for us to actually uh, kind of really get into the reads. And I genuinely thank you all so much if we have spoken to you about this. Our conversations have been so valuable sharing designs with you and getting things back. So ladies and gentlemen, that brings me to the end of today's session. Um, I'd like to thank you all so much for joining today. If you've got any thoughts or questions, now is the time. I'm gonna I'm gonna say a slow goodbye. So now is the time to put any thoughts or questions that you've got and it'll come to that. But just one last thing I do really wanna say, in fact, two last things. Rachel, you asked the question about us, uh, you know, expanding things based on feedback. It honestly is so important to us. And actually, um, as I mentioned about the approval cycle, we, we, we have so many of you that are so generous with your feedback um, and we don't take it lightly. We want to get on calls with you. We want to understand your challenges. We want to share with you our thoughts, our designs, and actually have that as a collaborative process. You don't have to do it because you could literally say, Mike, we're here to save us time, not, not save you time. So that's also cool. But um, anything you offer is really good. And, and we really do love being involved in those conversations. So, so do reach out. Anything, anything you want, let us know. We are here to help you get your business on the same page. And then the second thing, if you are in that process of uh, of still building out your waybook, um, we are we have implementation plans available. So make sure that you've got an implementation plan. Every, everybody, no matter your size, big or small, you do have an account manager that will be in touch. If you ever need anything, if you're starting, you're scaling, you have a challenge, a problem, you want to make sure that your your completion rates go up, your engagement rates go up, just book a call with your, your account manager or anyone in the team. We genuinely love getting into the reads uh, and making sure that we're solving problems for you. Even if it's not about Waybook as a product, it's actually about how this lives and breathes within your business. We see that as our challenge as well. And we're very much focused on building a solution for you to create a central single source of truth for your team. Make sure everybody's on the same page. That is why we're here, not just to... to ship the product so, so let us know um and the the, the support is uh, essentially unlimited within that the one thing where that does become a service is if you have stuff that you want us to do for you on your account so if you want us to help with designing and and kind of collaboration and looking at documents and helping you use it and training and comms plans that's all support if you literally just want to give us your documents or you say um I just want to talk to you and tell you about the business and, and one of our consultants build it. We also have that available. So do let us know if you want to use our migration service or our consulting service. The whole support team, the migration team, the consulting team is always available for you. And that is the end of my long and slow goodbye. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, I'm really excited to continue to do what we do with you doing what you do. And I hope we can enjoy some smooth scaling. So have an amazing one and we look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care now.